So then you uh, decided to embark um, this, this most recent time around on a more natural therapeutic approach to uh, beating your cancer. Um, so I was wondering, you know, the common theme seems to be of, of the people I've talked to of this prolonged fasting. So first off, can we get into that? Where did you come across the prolonged fasting as a treatment for cancer? And uh, how does how does that work? Um, what is the mechanism behind prolonged fasting in terms of starving cancer? And how long did you fast for? So um, my history in, 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 uh, in fasting started 10 years ago, in 2012. I had this conversation with Walter Longo. Um, he responded to me. I was also amazed. One of them, they all, they all decided to respond. I, I, don't, I don't let go very easily. So uh, in the end, like my wife says, you know, ah, he's going to bug us forever if you don't answer. So, <laughs> so basically he responded and we spent 25 minutes on the phone. Uh, on the, I think it was on, on the camera, even we had a camera. Um, not sure which system we use at the time, but, um, and he explained the biology of things and what to expect. And then, then I said, Here, here's my situation. You know, they're going to operate on me. I've got all these, these nodules in both lungs. And, and he said to me, well, you know, if you can fast, you know, you've got uh, 15 days or 14 days in front of you. If you can fast like 12, 13 you know, and, and he explained to me the different, what I should expect and, and you know, how, how to do it. And I was like, okay. And I did, I did 12 days, boom, first time. And um, uh, it was, uh, it was pretty incredible because uh, as I recall in my book and uh, on different interviews, um, when I, I saw uh, the surgeon um, on the 13th day, um, he said, "Wow, you, you look you look in shape. You uh, I haven't seen you in uh, in such a shape. I don't. We don't. You know, it doesn't look like I'm going to operate on you uh, in in a couple of days or so." And uh, so I, you know, I said, "Yeah, fantastic." So he looked at my scans that I did in the morning, and five out of ten were gone. So um, uh, nodules, and so. Um, so, 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 you know, he's like, is there anything that you do that we don't know about? Because this, I really haven't seen that's, that's the sort of thing I remember 10, 10 years ago. And, um, I said, yeah, um, this has been, uh, today, 13th day. Um, I haven't, I haven't eaten anything. He said, oh, what do you mean? Like a little bit of, no, no, nothing. So, well, I thought you die after this time. So we joked about it, you know, but the fact is it was it. And then from there on, um, I had the operation, recovered, started talking to Walter more, you know, specifically about things. And he said, look, if you can do like five days every three weeks. And I said, okay. So I did five days every three weeks for six months non-stop and um so we kept on checking with bernard escudier um the scans came out you know every three months and it was very 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 slow we had a couple of nodules popping out boom i had another operation and then another one and um but he said to me it cannot go on forever because one day you're going to have it all over and it's just going to be finished in a few months. So that was between 2012 and 2014 where, um, you know, I had three major operations in between and I, I, I didn't look good. So he thought he was very, um, he thought that was it basically in a few months. And then everything stopped. Nothing came back. Only three years later, there was a couple that popped up, which we treated locally uh, with um, a, a, creo, a cryo or cryotherapy technique, which is not inv invasive at all. And then I stopped flying three years ago, and from there on, nothing, nothing shows up. It's completely stable. So now, I heard you say and talk about the number of days. I went through 
the whole thing. I went to, I'm intermittent fasting the whole time. I'm doing five days often, regularly. I'm doing 10 to 12 days regularly. I went up to 15. I went up to 21. I went up to 26. Um, it does bring your immune system down a lot when you go for a long way. But they have uh, clear data at um, in those cancer centers. This is research. Uh, there's enormous uh, difference between an oncologist who's just a doctor. He's doing a wonderful job. He's been taught that. But a doctor, an oncologist who's a researcher um, is, is a different story. And um, so that's when we had um, uh, a few chats, you know, about um, about uh, the length, basically, of fasting and what it does. And, you know, on mice to start with, obviously. Um, and um, it does show that there isn't a major difference in uh, what you want to achieve between um, say 10 to 12 days, which is extraordinary already. And 26, 40, um, who can do it? I mean, you won't find many people who clinically will be able to do that sort of thing without putting themselves in danger. So what we want is, what I want is to be able to talk about, offer things that everyone's able to do basically. Um, because, you know, if it's for 10 out of uh, 10,000 people, 10 people out of 10,000, why would you do it? You know, it's, it's, it's not much worth, worth nothing. You want 100,000 people to be there able to use it without putting themselves in danger. So what, what she showed is that um, with uh, already like a, a length of between 10 and 15 days, you, you have an enormous response. Um, and uh, your immune system is not that low compared to when you go further on. And it, it comes back very quickly, comes back up. If you do the proper things, the proper steps, to start eating again. So, so that's what I've been doing with fasting. Yeah.